previously on the next chapter. Coming up on the next chapter. So guys, I just finished for a short. So this was my setup. I had the small mirror, my tripod, a big mirror so I can see um, if it's recording or not. Cause you know, when your phone runs out of space, sometimes you can't see. I'm really, really loving this look. I'm feeling it a lot. Hey guys, I'm going to the mall with my mom. Yeah, just doing this jean, short jean, boob tube. I'm on the hand for slides. I'm going to be looking for a bit of face care and a book. I don't know if I'm going to get all these things, but that's what I'm aiming for. Like, you know, when you have a goal, when you want to go to the mall. So yeah, I'm going there, knowing my intention. <laughs> I just arrived back home and I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got to so, H&M and Mr. Price Mr. Price, I got these cute sandals because I re I told you guys that I wanted sandals They were 100 grand And then I saw the skincare range, Mr. Price skincare range So I was just like, let me just try out these two products Face Mist and the Face Serum They have Brightening Vitamin C and Glycid glycolic acid the products were okay, the face mist the face mist was 80 rand and then the brightening serum was 90 rand and then um h and m so i saw you guys saw that i tried on a couple of things so there were two squirts that you guys saw in the in the fitting room which they were really cute but then they didn't look cute and flattening on me and they were also kind of tight this cute tea um it was 200 this cute tea i love it on my skin this top it was 250 it's also pretty cute i can't wait to wear these clothes and style them i got these baggy jeans and i didn't fit them i'm praying they fit me but i got these cute um baggy jeans and they were 429 but these cute heels oh my goodness i was like i've always wanted cute heels and i wanted something to wear for church so yeah, these were 380. I'm very exhausted. It was a successful day. I'm gonna go eat some food. I have load shedding currently. It's coming back at seven. So, and it's five right now. The shoes, I didn't fit them. I just saw my size and I was like, they will have to fit me. So let me see if they do. Okay, yeah, they do. But they're a bit big. I should have taken size five. This is size six. And this is how they look on me. I really, really love the texture of these. It's so nice. Morning, guys. It is Saturday and I'm currently all ready and dressed up to go for a meetup with Robin. We're not quite sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're just gonna go some more and figure out ourselves there. But I'm not trying to do anything hectic, like I'm just trying to chill because I haven't seen her in such a long time. 
let me show you guys my outfit before i leave it's one o'clock in the morning you in the morning it's one o'clock and we're supposed to be we're supposed to meet up at one but then she needs to lay her hair and all of that stuff so i'm just chilling at home waiting for her to get finished and then i'm gonna leave so i'm gonna look like a simple lady today you know nothing hectic just going out to chill with my girl <laughs> A lot of things have been revealed to me in this next chapter that I didn't know would be revealed so soon, but I'm consistently waking up with grateful heart. God is consistently making me grow inwardly. This second episode of the next chapter really just grounded me. It grew me closer to God. For the longest time, I've always just been a person that consistently likes being alone especially when i'm at home but i'm learning to keep tabs or keep communication with the people that i love because they'll never know how much i love them unless i reach out to them or i have a conversation with them this specific episode i spent a lot of time with my girl robin and we really talked about a lot of things and we poured our hearts out and we filled each other's cups and i really do see the importance of having someone that you can talk to someone that you can relate to and not just surface level conversations but conversations that really matter things that that you yourself are consistently learning things that are coming up from the past that you're trying to rediscover or reshape all of, all of this that i'm saying right now is reiterating my heart of gratitude and above it all god is good and i cannot wait for you to see what we have in store on the second episode so tag along with me let's grow together let's gain more wisdom and knowledge and let's discover what god has really set us on this planet for it's not always going to be perfect it's not always going to be rainbows and sunshine but it is worth it at the end good morning guys it is sunday today and i'm going to church oh my goodness i actually forgot to show you guys my outfit because i was filming a get ready with me guys here's my outfit i'm just holding my heels for now guys i'm back from church i'm literally wearing my cozy pjs this is dress is a dress pajama i'm gonna i'm gonna be sleeping for the rest of the day and i'm gonna wake up and transfer footage for my vlog so yeah guys for today the rest of the day i'm closing up the vlog here i went to church it was amazing it was basically speaking on being victorious trusting ourselves and not putting our dreams aside you know and not caring what people think but just basking in god's word and living according to what he says about us and that's living in the truth and it was also just teaching me or teaching us about being courageous and trusting god and having faith go sleep good night <laughs> it's currently like two o'clock i already ate some food and yeah i'm gonna take a nap and wake up a bit later 
coming up on the next episode of the next chapter.